today, head to the Real Daytime's Instagram page to join in on the conversation. We first want to start off by saying how happy we are and thankful Yay. that the government shutdown is finally Woo! over. Yeah. federal workers who went over a month without pay. We can only imagine the sacrifices that you had to make. We heard so many of your stories firsthand, and we're grateful for all that you do. But we're not done giving back yet, uh-uh, because nope. this is the real. We like to give yes. as much as we can. Yes. Yes. So starting today, the real will be highlighting a different city we love each week, and we're kicking off things in the nation's capital. Yes. That's right. <laughs> today is Washington, D.C. week. Yes. <laughs> All this week, we are going to be talking to our real D.C. fam, or our fam in D.C., and giving out some cold, hard cash. So make sure you tune in, D.C. We love y'all. I love that. Well, <laughs> yes, applause. That's Wait, amazing. Yeah. Well, there's some other big news we need to address. Jeannie, this past Thursday, you had your 40th birthday bash. <gasps> Guys, it was so much fun. Did you have fun? Yes. yes. I know you ladies couldn't make it. You had a no. show. You had the kids' attention, which I'm so glad you were there. Adrian, thank you, and is for coming no, through because I know it's like course. one of your date nights. You know, it yes, looked like had fun. It looked so really fun. much. And you looked fun. Great. Wow. Yes. Your body. You honey? do not wow. look forty, honey. Oh not my gosh. gosh. Boy, it's the new 20 when it comes yeah. to jeans. That's right, honey. Amazing. Those outfits, you gotta hold it in the whole time. Yeah. Whenever you have an outfit like that, you yeah. always got, like I'm sitting there having like. I had Vietnamese sandwiches yeah. and Vietnamese food catered, but every time I ate it, I was like, <gasps> "Okay, let's get to the, let's get to what we really want to get to." What happened the next day? That part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the next day, my girl, actually Malika, posted an after-party picture on her Instagram with the caption "Three's Company." Look amazing. And the picture features couples <laughs> Malika and OT Genesis, <laughs> Shut up. Lori Harvey and Trey Songs, and and then it was Young Jeezy and our very own Jeannie Mai. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's couples, you right? You look really beautiful. Is that what we do? No, okay, so Jeannie, oh that's the mm -hmm. question everyone's been asking all weekend. Mm -hmm. Are you and Jeezy making beautiful music together? Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do, I do. Damn it, Malika, can't we all be just chilling without having to explain how we're chilling? I can't even... No, Malika's my girl. I, look, Love you guys her. know that I'm multi-dating, right? And, okay. and Jeezy and I hang out, and he's very special to me. So we don't really have a label to define what it is we're doing. We're just having a good time together, you know? Oh, okay. Like, honestly, honestly. Hey, uh, see, on. someone's been taking my advice. <laughs> Completely. So real fam, you know I always keep it a little too real at this table. I promise you that when there is that one special boo, you will be the first to know from me, unless Malika goes TMZ on me again. <laughs> I like it. A cute picture. You're like, wait, what? There's a picture. <laughs> no, no, no. You have no idea. So this was the after party. I had a little sesh, you know, because I love myself. Some you changed and clothes and everything. I did. Yeah. Girl, we yeah. got to yeah. do a wardrobe yeah. change. Yeah. Good lord, is she forty? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but the next day, Adrian, you saved me because she called me and she was like, I had so much fun. Da, da, da. Do you know this picture is up? And I honestly don't keep on the ground, you know, like that, especially when you're having a birthday party and your friends are in town. Yeah. Right. So you look on a road trip to Santa Barbara like this. I said, oh. Jeannie, are you aware that this photo is on Instagram? <laughs> I, and I froze. You know, when that comes out and you're just not, you don't want the narrative to be misread. Like, yeah. and especially when you're dealing with people's feelings and-, and yeah. Can I, I, I ask you of, something though? Uh oh. oh God. Oh, oh no, cause see, when I was dating, everybody got questions. Okay. <laughs> it's the way you're dipping. I know. It's the no, way, it's the way. It's the way you're dipping that tea bag. Hold me down. Tea. Hold me you're down. like, no, I mean, let me did make he, sure did my he say anything are about in. What are we the doing? picture? Did he say anything? Look, why are you doing that? About the picture? <laughs> did he say anything? Uh, he said he was the same as me, where he was like, wasn't aware. Like, okay. wasn't aware we were going to post that. Because at the end of the day, people then take that and they run with it. Yeah. And they right. make up things. And when you have something that's, that's precious, you're just... You're just like, let's deal with this. It. Let me figure it out so that it doesn't have to go out there and be it's like precious. labels yeah. and all that your, stuff. Your relationship is precious. <laughs> Can we, moving on. Moving on. Someone else who was serving looks on the ground this weekend was our girl Cardi B. Yeah. Cardi. Cardi was in Vegas to perform at the AVN Awards, which honors the best in the adult entertainment industry, mm -hmm. and decided to dress for the occasion. She posted this sexy picture on IG with the caption, 
I'm a little porn star today. Ooh. Well, I'm a porn star Ooh. whenever you want me to be. While many loved Cardi's sexy side, many of her followers shamed her, saying that it's no way for a mom to dress and that it's not a good example to set for her younger fans. Well, Cardi's sister Hennessy quickly clapped back in a since deleted comment saying, I hate when people want to say you need to be a good example to kids. Like, who are you? Elmo, Barney, or do you work at Disney Channel? Why do people's kids have Instagram anyways? Please, you look hot. And I'm glad you're getting your confidence back after baby girl. So, ladies, I have to ask, uh, should Cardi cover up or not? First of all, when you got a sister named Hennessy, you know she gonna bring fire. <laughs> yes. I yes. love it. Which y'all Hennessy, too. Carolina. <laughs> Which is the same thing I feel like your sister would do for oh, you. Oh, my sister beat. would definitely come for somebody that came for me. My, my thing with this is I think that we create these celebrities and then we try to tear them down. This is how this young girl started. She's always been who she is. And I think we've applauded that for such a long time. And now we're trying to switch it up and be like, oh, but don't do that. Like, why do right. we do that? Why do we, we turn on we, what we, we like? We loved her authenticity for such a long time. We love that she's been who she is. And now that she's a mom, first of all, the mom thing always gets me. I'm like, how do you think she became a mom? <laughs> yeah. How do you think that works? Yeah. Let's start there. And number two, I, I find it interesting that what she was wearing in that photo, to me, is no different than the things we see Beyonce wear on stage. So, so why attack her? Just Is it maybe just because of... The porn star today, well, I'm a porn... I get the caption, but again, this is who she is. This is who she's always been. And as parents, you can't expect for someone on Instagram to raise your children. And, and if you're recognizing that this person is having more influence on your child than you do, then you have to start asking yourself why that is. Uh, I think that it wasn't so much the picture. I think it was the caption, yeah, and of her, yeah, the, of her the motions and stuff and like that. And, I do agree with you that I I think it's it's not fair to create role models. I do believe that people can evolve though, and. Um, the, the, the example I always give is, is Kim K. I mean, Kim Kardashian, you know, we know how she got her beginning, but look at her now. She's a mogul, she's a mother. I think that Cardi is just young. I think she's hot. I think she's learning, and I think she'll improve, but she did nothing wrong. I want to say that yeah. I do think that there are certain things, there are certain standards and practices that we all have to have. I can't come here and just do whatever I want to do. And I think the thing is, on Instagram, we don't have that. Correct. So now people are becoming standards and practices, and we just have to ease up. We got to give her a little time, and it's okay to yeah. evolve. That's my Yeah, mind. I hear that. Yeah. I, I didn't know that there were... Adult video, what is it? Uh, yeah. Awards. Oh, Awards. you girl, yes. Not like the Oscars, wow. but for that. For for porn stars. Yes, it mm -hmm. exists. Okay. Yeah, that's um, the big one, too. The, the, yeah, the they are the acting big. like the, the greatest female actress yeah. award yeah. and everything. <laughs> I was like, are you what? here to fix my scene? Okay, yeah. This whole scenes that happened prior right. to. Well, it takes oh, skill. It takes yeah. skill to just do that. You can't just right. be out there like missionary position. You gotta um, have some skill to it. This is what I say to that. Cardi B is a grown woman. Mm. She can do whatever she wants to do. Yeah. Um, so, but aside from that, I feel that whether you like it or not, you are inadvertently teaching your children the morals and values you want them to have. For sure. Whether that's you making great decisions, bad decisions. I know that there are some kids saw their parents make bad decisions over and over and over and over and they're like, I am never being like that. Yeah. Right. And I just know from my personal experience, when my parents wanted me to learn a lesson, I loved when they lived what they preached. Because when they did that, when they were teaching me a lesson, I was like, whoa, okay. I don't know. For me, it just... It imprinted on, on my soul. But that looks different for every family. My morals and values may be different right. for Cardi B's yeah. right. you know, uh, family. I can only do me and be responsible for my right. actions. Because right. your kids will watch. They, they, will, they will imitate yeah. you. And, and you I've been know. learning When that. that child gets to a certain age where maybe she is aware, yeah. maybe, we will, maybe we will see an evolution of Cardi. Yeah. When a child actually has access to yeah. Instagram and she's watching what she does. I mean, yeah. the baby's right. so young, she well, doesn't that's know yeah. her hand I, from her toe. Yeah. I see it this way. As a feminist, I've said that... Part of being a feminist, which you believe in equality for women, is supporting other women's choices, even if it's not your Correct. own. Which is okay. what Tam is so saying. So let's start yeah. there. 
And if you remove the porn star aspect of yeah. it and you just look at a woman's sexuality, for all women out there, you have a moment where you blossom. It could be in your teen years. I know women where they don't experience till they're like 60. And sexuality can mean different things to different people. We, when we look at season one, you didn't feel comfortable with like showing your knees and you joke about that. And now a lot of you be wearing leather skirts and popping and bopping because <laughs> yeah. yeah. she's yeah. feeling herself. So whatever that means to you, you have to have an outlet as a and woman. And I was half naked, expression. and look, now I'm covered up. <laughs> People go different ways, and that's you know? sexy for you. Exactly. Okay. So I, I love that. Got it. Well, speaking of oh. kids, one Indianapolis school superintendent recently made headlines after she was arrested for simply trying to help one of her students. Casey Smitherman got charged with felony insurance fraud and identity deception after she helped a student who didn't have insurance get an antibiotic prescription for his strep throat. Casey allegedly filled the prescription under her own son's oh. name and according to police, also bought him clothes and helped clean his home. Casey said in a statement that while she knew her actions were wrong, her only concern at the time was for the child's health. Casey, who is currently out on bail, says that she plans to enter into a diversion program, which would ultimately lead to her charges being dismissed. So, ladies, do you think this woman deserved an award instead of handcuffs? I want to know who the snitch was. Yeah. Because yeah. no, no, no good out. deed goes unpunished. Yeah. That's yeah. such a true statement. No good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. Like, this woman was trying to help this child, and instead she's being punished for it. Now, granted, I get the idea that maybe you don't want to give medication to a child that isn't your own. I totally understand that. But in this case, that would be weird if she just went and got him this medicine. She didn't just do that, you guys. She actually took the child to a doctor, and the doctor made sure the child was okay, and that's what the doctor prescribed for the child. So yes. I want to clarify yeah, that. You don't want to think she's just right. handing out medicine. But it was under her son's, son's yeah. name. name. Because I feel like she... she she showed empathy, but also remember, superintendents and teachers don't make a lot of money. Yeah. It was two hundred and and thirty three dollars to get the medication. Right, right. She may have paid for it for herself, but she probably didn't have the money. Right, yeah. So she did the second best thing, which was she had insurance and yeah. she used it, even though it was under her son's yeah. name. See, and sometimes so, I, I'm sorry. No. Um, I feel this woman because, you know, she's obviously a mom and she wanted to do what was right oh, for the child in that intentions. moment. Right. And she had to, you know, think fast. But sometimes you don't want your, your good to be evil spoken of. Correct. So in this situation, I personally would have thought of ways I could have done it without breaking the law. Like, one, maybe go to the school's nurse you know, and tell them about the situation because it seems like the payment was probably the issue. Mm -hmm. And maybe have the nurse ask 10 teachers around, say, hey, can you spare like, you know, 20 bucks so that I can go walk this child into the clinic and buy the child's medication, you know, for him? Or write a check and then put up a GoFundMe page, you know, so that when the check, when it was yeah. time to, you know, return the check, um, deposit the check, she would have money in her yeah. account. Because yeah. initially I wouldn't she want did that take on it my to one record. clinic under his name, yeah. Yeah. and they denied him. And that, that I'm like, why would so, they do that? That's crazy. Just, denied because, at the first place, she took yeah. him under his own name, yeah. and then she, her second resolve was to use the child, yeah. her son's name. I mean, this I, came crazy close to a situation I just learned. If you had asked me this a year ago, I would immediately be that woman yeah. and help in any way because I don't get sick often and I figured out ways that help me keep healthy so as soon as I hear somebody sick I'm administering all the advice I'm yeah. handing out medicine and everything but I've learned in a too personal way that you cannot take in medical advice or support towards somebody that you don't know what their medical history is like because then you're taking a doctor's degree into your hands which you have no right to do yeah. and that happened one time when Adrian here oh, on the yeah. show got sick. She felt a little under. And I have this holistic over-the-counter thing. Yeah, I was like, it's right. so easy. You don't even feel different about it. It's just like, then I it cleanses died. your immune system. You did. I, I gave it died. to her. <laughs> forgetting <laughs> that Adrian is like half my size and yeah. like a sensitive to caffeine and all I, this guys, stuff. I can't even take like your normal like Ad Advil well, or like, yeah. like I literally like I will. Well, it's like a sleeping pill. That's why me. we have nurses and doctors. Yeah. Yes. Look, look, this is the issue t for me. It's that why can't we just have... It, it's a school. Yeah. There are basic things that high schoolers and students have. Yeah. And one of that is always strep, strep throat. throat. So why don't, why don't we have access to basic 
um, medicines mm -hmm. that people can have universally. Yeah. Just basic. I ain't talking about over, you know, just basic stuff. Yeah. So I think yeah. that that's more of an issue than, okay. you know, I'm you know, reading the comments the and at SoCal2NorCal said, what would Jesus do?